EA Sports. It's in the game. Bonjour guys, welcome to a totally different kind of video tonight on the channel. I wish we were not making those type of videos, yes. but bros, we have to because now it's been five hours since the EA servers are down. And yet we have no communication from the official EA Sports Twitter. I know bros, uh, from what we have seen on Twitter and over social media, this is not only a EA Sports FIFA issue, this is for all the EA servers. But yes. here's my problem with that boys. It's currently peak time for us FIFA users, Food Champions players, this is peak time for us. Peak time, Sunday night, everybody needs to play their Food Champions game. I know the weekend league was extended, but that's not an excuse because for free, <clears throat> week it has been a mess Fit champions has been a mess for three Fit champions in a row yes so bros let me quickly explain you the situation right now the e8 sports servers are down right that means you can't play fifa but as well if you wanted to play for example apex legend with as well a corporation of e8 sports a game made by e8 sports you cannot play as well apex legend and i think was this is uh, really scary for me not the fact that the servers are down first of all that's a major that's a really major issue for a company that makes a billion of money every single year but for me the scary part is the fact that we still have no communication like Lam said from the official EA Sports FIFA Twitter Rose Rana as you can see on the screen the EA Sports FIFA Twitter account the official Twitter account have more than 6 million followers Almost seven million. Almost seven million. That's a lot of that's a lot of person, bros. Uh, the last tweet was yesterday, and uh, they just retweeted Bundesliga English. I couldn't care less, man. I couldn't care less about the Bundesliga, about the beautiful goal that uh, uh, Kai Havertz scored last week. I couldn't care less. What I want is to play my game. For me, bros, we can see as well right now that Zao. Uh, the developer called Joel and uh, Corey tweeted that there were like issues with the EA servers. Well, boys, I couldn't care less. I'm a FIFA user. I'm a customer of EA Sports. I couldn't care less if someone at EA Sports tweeted out. You know, for me, boys, that's really an issue that EA Sports need to improve for FIFA 20 is their communication because as a customer, I want to know when. Will I be able to play again? Especially for the fact, bros, I'm gonna take an example. For us, tomorrow we still have the time to play our games. If you're at school, if you have a job, if I you can't. have work, if you have a family to feed, you cannot finish your Fit Champions games this week. And what's really problematic is the fact that next week they will be team of the season. Therefore, a lot of people wanted to play Fit Champions to have a lot of pack ready for the tots. But guess what, bros? Some people next Friday gonna spend 12k FIFA points, 24k FIFA points, 36k FK, uh, FIFA points. Bros, that's what I tell you. We tell you we've learned since, uh, since September, since uh, the release, since the launch of FIFA 19. Even more than this. For like you guys shouldn't months months put months. any more money on this damn game. You know why? Because as well, at the end of the day, you're gonna get screwed over. We don't play FIFA 19. FIFA 19, play with us. <laughs> that's lucky, true, but like Vincent said, like. Have, we, we don't take shots at people working for EA Sports. We're taking shots at the damn company right now because those Over. people that work for EA Sports, bros, I feel bad for them because this is such a bad publicity for them. I lucky feel bad for them. I follow every one of them and I, they have my all respect because, bros, they work hard. They? they work hard for a company that doesn't give a damn about their customers. You know what I mean? It, it, I feel bad for them. I won't lie to you. I feel bad for them. I follow everyone. And they are my prayers every night because they have to work, they have to, to put all of the all of the bad things about EA Sports, they have to embrace it and yeah, they have to, to face the community. At the end of the day. And to be honest, they, 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 uh, let me finish. No, but let me finish. This right now should not be a problem for EA Sports. They should tweet it out. By every social media they have, they should tweet it out. Guys, sorry, uh, we have a, a big, big issue with our servers. We don't have an estimate time, but please bear in mind, we're working on it to fix this, all of these issues. We know it will take time, but please stay patient and we're going to reward you with some free stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? One thing, Liam, we apologize. 
You forgot those two words. We apologize. We never seen those words coming out of EH Sports, and I think that's a major issue. Was counting the fact as well. I wanted to. I wanted to tell you something. Was I forgot, Liam? I forgot. I wanted to tell you something. Was I forgot? I forgot so bad. Oh my god, that was. <sighs> but yeah, as well, counting the fact that, in my opinion, was one of the questions. Yes, the question that we can ask ourselves is: Is few champions? Will be again extended to Tuesday? Well, my answer is no. My answer is no, boys, because of division rivals. They cannot let only division rivals happening for one day, only Wednesday, because people will need to play their division rival games to have some better packs, to have some higher ranks, to have as well those weekly objectives. Yeah, the weekly objective. The weekly objective, boys. Let's yeah, not forget about this because you need to play the FIFA 19 gameplay. You need to play some division rival, right? You need to play some division rival games, some squad battle games. So, in my opinion, boys, no, they're just gonna let it out and they will not extend the weekend league once again. In my opinion, boys, it's gonna be until 24 hours because when we're recording, it's like 10 p.m. our time. So I don't think they will extend the weekend league. I want them to extend it. I don't think they will just because of the fact of Dijon Rebel. They will let them Wednesday and Thursday to uh, to um, to have only Dijon Rebel. And in my opinion, that's that's not possible. But what we have witnessed and what we have been um, experiencing for, for for years as customers, right, as FIFA consumers, not like any other EA Sports game consumers, FIFA only. For years, for years, servers have been one of the biggest, let's put it that way, it has not even been one of them. It has been the biggest the, issues the. of every single goddamn game FIFA has released. My problem with that is that EA Sports right now are living in the denial. They just deny everything, you know? It's like they put all of the blame on others and they don't even apologize. And I've got issue for this because I spent so much damn time on this game. I, it's not a sacrifice my life for this. Not, no, no, not all. But I give so much time to this game and what we do have in return, inconsistent servers. Servers that have been broken for for like years since I've been playing FIFA every single goddamn year. Almost every week, almost every month, we get disconnects, we get really bad gameplay, we get inconsistent servers, we get everything. And yeah, boys, do everything. And yet, yet sports states nothing except a couple weeks ago where they just say in the menu, oh, how do you find that game? Was it good gameplay? Was it bad gameplay? But FIFA 20 is already done. Like in the next few weeks, we're gonna have E3 at Los Angeles. People will start already playing FIFA 20. So, yet sports right now, stop. Stop, stop, stop everything. Just invest billions on new servers because that's going to be the only way you're going to be able to get us back, the consumers. And, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about someone that makes YouTube videos. I'm just talking about someone that just loves football and I just want to recreate my love for football yeah. on a video game. We know this, Liam, but as well, what can be the solutions on that, that EA Sports can make to change? is to stop buying FIFA points. You know what, boys, that's the situation, that's the solution, that's what we have been preaching for because as soon as they're gonna see their, their, their numbers going down, they will have to change something. They will because change. For me, boys, as well, the one of my worst memories as a FIFA customer was the fact that a couple months ago, just because of the fact that you couldn't buy FIFA points because as well there were a huge problem with their menu, they tweeted out something on their main account, they said, Oh yes, that's normal if you can't buy FIFA points for the moment. The issue will be fixed in the next couple of minutes. We will keep you updated. For a question of minutes, because of FIFA points, they tweeted out. It has been hours. Five, six hours. It's been since, three weeks. Three weeks, Since man. the games now, we can't play the game. Three Nothing weeks. has been said. I think that's the biggest issue, boys, in that game. And, and as well, boys, three weeks ago, like every single goddamn few champions, I was hoping maybe EA Sports can give us one free pack. You know, just like, or even a kit or something, just stating, like, boys, uh, yeah, we're sorry, we apologize for the inconvenience. This is a little, you know, a little gift that we give to the community. We have seen nothing. 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 Not like three weeks ago, people couldn't even finish their few champions game. Yeah. Like, people, like the servers. It died. It was Boom. two hours, two or three hours. Exactly. Like imagine you, you need to, to finish your games and you cannot even finish them and EA Sports don't even say anything. Not even on the community manager, not even on the official EA Sports Twitter. Nothing. Yeah. Then you, you get your rewards, there is nothing. There is not even like a pack. So As you could have forgotten. I'm uh, exactly. I'm, I'm going to throw the problem at the trash like this. And I think was that's as well a major issue that 
not a lot of people talk about this in the FIFA community. I think as well those that for me no subscription fees, there's only uh, Nepenthes who talked about it and I think as well that's a big issue because uh, we need more as a FIFA community as a whole, as a whole to express ourselves when something is wrong. Yeah. And to express ourselves the correct way. And not without putting any bad words on everybody else. Without blaming some people. No. As a FIFA community, we need to express our thoughts kindly but surely to yet sports. And not only via the big, 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 big YouTubers, big streamers, big, I don't know, big influencers in this game. It's like everybody as a whole. So even, even you, like, as a viewer, as just a player, just... Keep Go. The, take the actions necessary. Take the actions necessary. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't be nasty to other people. Just be kind. Don't forget. All right. Never forget what EA Sports did because, bros, this needs to have some consequences. Like I'm not even kidding, boys. Like this. N like, and the worst thing is that I know in a week's time, people, people will spend this, their wages. People, people, will, funds, people right? will forget about it. That's what kills me. All right, boys, because us, we have. We have Loki have to forget it because we make videos about it, right? We need to, we need to be always happy. We always need to be entertaining, like for people so they can watch us. But bros, like for us, still like the icon moments is still there. The icon moments is still there. The fact that someone like best upgrade was a ripoff. Someone like the, this FIFA has been a mess from start to finish. It's Not even over. a single day without. Some, no, like no mistake some crap happening to that game so yeah boys that was our, that was our current thought about everything regarding oh. EH Sports and our mentality towards the game right now boys we try to really give our best to this game we want to finish Elite every single week we wanted to play few champions but I guess we, like can't, we can't play few champions I've been I've been playing on the menus boys for like literally like maybe half an hour right now like 45 minutes and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, like honestly I'm having a blast I'm, I'm all like to you boys I do skin moves and all that but make sure boys to not forget about this and take the action necessary please yeah. don't put wages on FIFA Pond. don't waste your money to pack fucking bass dose in the pack in the ultimate pack please boys keep your money one day you're gonna make your child happy I pray for you if one day you will have one. No matter what, bros, this has been your boy Vincent. Uh, my name is Yami Agiaki. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, uh, potentially, hopefully, with the servers being up and hopefully with EJ Sports stating something uh, in the Twitter and our Facebook and our Instagram because this needs to be changed and uh, hopefully they will take actions because now we're, everyone is tired of it. Like, everyone. So, boys, have a good rest of your night and, uh, yeah, good luck in your future Champions game. Au revoir. Au revoir.